giving you a voice, and making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Um, so here in the 15th spot, we have Team 340. From Churchville, New York and Churchville Charlotte High School, it's Greater Rochester Robotics. With an overall record of 25 and 11, they were finalists at both the FLR and uh, Long Island number two regionals. Uh, so losing in the finals is the number three seed to the number one seed at FLR. 340 went 10 and 0 in, in Long Island during qualification matches this past weekend, and it was the number one seed. Uh, they would select their buddies, the same team who beat them at FLR 30 15. Um, with Elva 263, uh, they would uh, end up losing in the finals in a nail biter, like I said, taking the three matches to the team 3015 teamed up with to win FLR. <laughs> so um, three out of the six robots were all in the FLR together in, in, in different relationships. So uh, pretty cool. So the silver medal we kind of talked about before with, with um, 340 is kind of a plague for them. They've just had so many over the last um, several years. And uh, have pulled out a couple wins um, in that span, but just so many silver silver medals, so many close matches. And uh, I'm going to put you on the spot again, Justin. Any thoughts mm-hmm. on 340 this weekend? Well, I mean, it's no secret we we uh, share a practice field with them, and you know, watching them struggle at FLR was um, was tough because I mentioned on that show at the time as well that I know the robot what the robot was capable of, and yeah. finally to finally see it. Um, Firing all cylinders this past weekend was awesome to see. You know, they went in, into Long Island needing to um, qualify for championship. They didn't get their qualification at FLR. So that was a big uh, thought process as well. You know, wanted to make sure our friends qualify for uh, championship and just the ability to team up with them and play um, in the finals. You know, quarters and semis were fun, but the finals were a blast. Um, and they got their wild card, even though we weren't able to quite get the, uh, get the regional win together. But yeah. it was another, uh, another fun event. Yeah, for sure. And there were there was times where they they looked really, really good. Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah, and then there's other times, you know, missed hatch panels or missed uh, cargo or something. But yeah, there's sometimes they just looked awesome, uh, and they just they do have a good robot. And we just talked about I think four four of those teams in Long Island in the last five teams here. So there's yep. some interesting um, chunks in the FRC Top 25 this week. So. And, and it's so yeah. funny how it how it does chunk. It really does because sometimes like I will have like five or six like. Texas teams in a row, and Mike will have all Canadian teams. But yeah, just because the, like, uh, how, up, how it all stacked yeah. in, yeah. It just happened to get, just slightly alternated. Yeah, it's funny how that that works. Yeah, well, it, so the weird thing is too, without getting too deaf on who voted for what, but like it's it's not like it's just like all the same people voting for the same teams. It's like it's just a really weird set of coincidences. It's just yeah. like so like these people for the voted for these chunks, these people for these chunks, and just kind of combining to be like the similar slot rankings. So, strange. Yeah. All right. Yeah, for sure. There's always kind of been those weird patterns. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, moving on to our 14th ranked team, that's going to be Team 217. From Sterling Heights, Michigan, Utica Community Schools, it's the Thunder Chickens. 28 or yeah, 28, 16, and 16 overall with winners, the Marysville District event. So 217 story of the season has been one of iteration and improvement. They are ranked fifth at their first event, lost in their quarterfinals, and then 18th at FLR and were all and also saw a quarterfinal exit, but they got the ship straight in Marysville. They led the event in cargo scoring and were quickly scooped up by the number one alliance to join them, along with 71-92, uh, played through elim- the elimination rounds unscathed to claim their first blue banner of the season. 217 is ready to compete at the FIM Championship, and good luck to the Thunder Chickens, another team that on the list that I've had the opportunity to watch, and man, 217 did struggle at FLR, and we were kind of like eesh you know i they have a huge team and that their spirit was never shaken you know they're always loud in the stands but the robot just wasn't quite um where i knew they wanted to be and then when i watched some some of their matches to to do this right up um it was a different it's a different machine so So they really are ready for them i don't i don't know i just their their arm was was very slow and and tough it seemed like slow and tough to control for their drivers Hmm. at flr but uh, in the videos I watch, it's it's a it's like a different machine. So they are ready to go for um, FIM champs, and it's going to be exciting to watch. Uh, and then Mathis forty one thirty says there's a new hatch mechanism on their robot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So all right, thanks for the insight, by the way. Yeah, sure. absolutely, we love that. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. so we're going to move along here. Coming up on that Bat Hawk giveaway, but in the thirteenth spot, we're going to talk about Team nineteen eighteen. Well, the people were wondering for FIM, and here they are. Uh, from <laughs> Fremont, Michigan, it's MC Gears. With an overall record of 25, 8, and 2. They were the winners of the East Kentwood District event. So our Discord, and apparently our, our current chat, 
was uh, oh no, I'm sorry, excuse me. Our Discord was wondering where the love for 1918 was, and then it got me thinking like, yeah, we haven't actually talked about them this year, but we have taught we consistently talk about them over the past several years. Um, and here they are at number 13. So finishing sixth, they were selected the number three alliance by 2054, and they would take down the number six, number two, and number one alliances on their <laughs> way to the victory. That's awesome. This is um, this is taking down teams like 67 and 27 together, and 2767 uh, on their way to gold. So incredible run this past weekend by 1918. And they have a, they just have a quick drive base and a very unique grab of the hatch panel. I kind of grab it from the top, um, which like doesn't look quite right, but um, is really really effective. And uh, they're currently sitting 24th in FIM and look to keep this going, uh, this momentum going at the Michigan State Championship. So congrats and great to see you guys back on the top 25 and good luck to them going forward. <laughs> and I'm just going to keep it going because we have another FIM team to follow this up. <laughs> and that's FIM, FIM, team, FIM. That's right, team 35, 38. From Auburn Hills, Michigan, Evandale High School, it's the Robo Jackets, 47-7-1 overall. And with the winners, the Southfield, Gull Lake, and Alpena number 2 district events in FEM. Mm. The Robo Jackets have been on fire since the word blast off, and they have a number two, and they have two number one seeds to go along with their three blue banners. It was a battle in Alpena, just like Mike just mentioned, uh, between the Robo Jackets and the Bees, which is three RPs separating the two teams. I'm sorry, you talked about a different or um, the other event. Yeah. Uh, with three RPs separating the two teams, but the Rubber Jackets earned the top spot and picked the Bs along with 7084, uh, and they went on to take the event win. So next up for all those teams in, uh, is the FIM Championship, and good luck to 3538, the Robo Jackets. So Robo Jackets, Killer Bs. I feel like there's a lot of B references. Or is there a B problem in Michigan? We're not quite, <laughs> is there a B problem? We're not quite yeah. uh, concerned with, but yeah, the Robo Jackets are awesome, man. 47 and 7, a great um, and That's three awesome. wins for them. And yeah. they were the number one uh, ELO rated, rated team yeah. this week as well. So I don't know if oh. I, think, I think Nick's still in the chat. Yeah, he is. I don't know if there's like some. They're both in Auburn Hills. They're like jackets and bees. I don't know if there's like do they oh. share practice. Groups? I don't know if they work if they work together at all. But um, just an awesome. Uh, <laughs> he says what up? What up? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Thirty-three uh, percent mm, Interesting. <laughs> I thought it was just like an awareness since you know bees are going extinct. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it's an awareness thing. I respect that with their team number. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Okay, so I know everyone's ready for their Bad Hawks. What was the keyword? Subscribe. Subscribe in the chat for your Bad Hawks. Um, and we're going to get right there, but pause quickly and talk about 179. From Riviera Beach, Florida, and Inlet and Suncoast Community High School is its Children of the Swamp. They have an overall record of 24-4, and four, and they were the winners of the South Florida Regional. This past weekend. So coming off some unfortunate luck um, in Orlando, 179 bounced back and went a perfect 9-0 through qualification matches at South Florida. Total of five unicorn matches with a 3.33 ranking score average. They would take their sister team, 180, and recruit to the finals and win. Um, 179 is just a really awesome machine. Um, they're super fast on the field, and their pickup and, and delivery of their hash panels is just so smooth. Um, I actually went down to the South Florida Regional this past week, and I couldn't stay long. I didn't. I was just. I couldn't catch one of their matches, but um, I'm excited to be able to see them again in Houston. And uh, congrats and good luck to 179. So um, I actually got to catch up with George Wallace, um, who's uh, in the chat sometimes, and he works with 180 Spam. And uh, he, was, he was telling me a little bit about, um, so I didn't know this. So I guess teams 176, Aces High, 177, Bobcat, 179, uh, Children of the Swamp, and 180 um, were all once upon a time UTC teams. Um, and they all, they like bought, UTC bought like a bunch of, or, you know, they bought a block of teams. And all these teams used to be part of UTC. And they all used to have, I think he said, a blue shirt with a white logo. And uh, Spam is the only team remaining out of those that has kept kind of the blue, the blue theming. But uh, yeah, specifically the back to 179, they're just they look awesome, and uh, they did they just uh, they did great with the winners here. So um, congrats to them. And um, like I said, I'm really excited to see them in Houston because I wasn't able to really see them in person this weekend. But um, good for them. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreoncom forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.